What's up, guys? If you've been wondering why I haven't uploaded any Path of Exile content lately, it's because I've been kind of bored with the current league. I was following Subtractum's Elemental SRS build and doing fully juiced T16s and, you know, making pretty pretty good profit. But I had the big brain idea to try to make my own build with very little currency and reserve because I basically poured everything into the SRS build and I ended up breaking both the SRS build and my build. So I don't really see myself playing much more of this league. I'm kind of just burnt out after that experience. So I know that I cannot give away items as a content creator, but there are no rules that say that I can't sell them for really cheap. So if anybody wants a three flask mage blood, just comment your IGN in the comments and I will sell it to you for a fraction of what they're going for. And if anybody knows that this is not allowed or illegal for whatever reason, please let me know in the comment section. I'm pretty sure that it's allowed. I checked on Reddit and I checked on the Path of Exile forums and I didn't see anything that says content creators can't sell items for cheap. I just saw that we can't give them away and I'm not asking for anybody to sub or like the video or anything like that. I just want to get back to you guys because I have a mage blood just rotting in my inventory and I don't really plan on playing for the rest of the week. So um, if you're interested and you want that three flask mage blood um just you know leave a comment leave your ign in the comment section if multiple people comment i'll just randomize it and pick a person two days from posting this video um so there's always kind of this like weird lull at the end of a league where a lot of players don't really know what to do so here's a few things that i do when i'm bored of the current league so let's jump into it So most of us gravitate towards one playstyle or another. For me, I mostly like to play minions, so if I get bored, I'll switch it up and reroll a new character. Now, I know I'm not covering any groundbreaking information here. I'm pretty sure most of us have rolled multiple characters during a league, but, you know, sometimes people forget or, you know, whatever. Maybe maybe try a new build or try, like, some meme build or maybe even make your own build. Uh, you know, playing different builds does a lot of things for you. It gives you a deeper understanding of the game. It allows you to see what affect is certain builds are looking for so you know while you're running through your maps and you see a base drop you can just know oh you know uh, righteous fire uses this build or oh um you know cast on crit uses this build and and you can know right away by looking at the affix without having to check awaken poe if it's even worth picking up so it allows you to kind of gather that knowledge as you play um you can also like i said try to make your own build um if you are going to go this route though um don't make the mistake i did and you know try to have a deep decent amount of currency built up before you just start you know just go blindly into it i tend to kind of um you know I, i'm like the you know look and go first or you know go first ask questions later kind of guy um so unfortunately that kind of screwed my both of my characters this league but uh but yeah i i would say no less than 20 divines if you're going to start trying to theory craft your own build um you know it, it's a cool way to learn a lot, a lot more about the game and learn what you can and can't do and what works and what doesn't work Another way to change things up is to try different game modes. If you're normally a trade league player, maybe try SSF, so will self found. SSF adds more of a challenge because you're not able to trade with other players, so you're forced to craft and find your own gear. This can be a way to force you to learn how to craft well if you're not a great crafter. It's wild to think of it like this, but high level crafting in PoE is pretty intensive and crafting just in general, all the different types, you know, beast crafting, uh, fossil crafting, you know, just, you know, uh, uh regular just regular old crafting it, it it's something that's a skill that you need to develop and learn so um there's a reason why these super high level crafters a lot of times are rmt'ers because there's most people can't replicate what they do so um learning how to craft well can be a way to make your own currency in the game um and be able to be more self-sufficient and just learn more about the game in general so I've never personally played Ruthless, but I do lurk on the subreddit from time to time. And what I've gathered from the subreddit is that just completing the campaign is something to be celebrated. The scarcity of items and currency is turned up to 11 and just having a full set of rares is somewhat of an accomplishment. Playing hardcore is also another way to spice up the league if you're getting bored. 
If you have been interested in playing hardcore on other games, but just never tried it, or maybe you tried it and didn't like the idea that your character just poofed when you died, well, the good news is, is that in PoE, this doesn't happen. If your character dies in hardcore, they're just transferred to standard. Now, I know for most of us who only play League, this pretty much means the death of the character, but if you're emotionally attached to the character and you really don't want to lose it, it goes to standard. You can still play it if you want to. So if you've never played a private league before, they're super fun. Uh, I would highly recommend giving them a shot. Uh, a lot of streamers will host private leagues, and, and you can sometimes see them advertised on the character select screen. Uh, you can also go to the POE forums, and there's a dedicated section to private leagues there. Uh, you just scroll through the messages and see what league interests you, and there will usually be a link and a global channel posted for chatting and the message. Private leagues can be the same as the base game, or they can be wildly different with rules and mods. The server owner can add things like increased monster damage, increased monster speed, reduced player resistances, and many, many more. Uh, there's also could be rules or restrictions added, um, like there might be a, a melee only private league or a ranger class only league. Uh, it's really up to the server owner. They can also, you know, restrict certain items or skills. Um, Basically, GGG lets them do what they want. They have to pay a fee for the for the server, um, and they basically get free reign. And um, it, it's really cool because it, it's it's an interesting and refreshing way to experience the game. Because just like any game, Poe develops a meta, and and it can be a nice way to try something new or different that you maybe otherwise wouldn't have tried. Like playing private leagues has let me try out skills or items that I probably would have never tried before, and I had a lot of fun. If I'm completely bored of PoE altogether, I will just play another game. I know not really groundbreaking information, but uh, hey, sometimes we forget that other games exist, especially when we're playing a game that's as deep, immersive, and grindy as PoE is. Uh, when I'm looking for new games, sometimes I will check Humble Bundle. Um, if you're not familiar with what Humble Bundle is, it's a website that bundles together uh, video games and products and there's a lot of different things they do it's most of the time it's usually software or video games uh, but they will uh, usually have a bundle of a bunch of different products and you'll pay a fraction of the cost of what they sell for like 20 bucks or 30 bucks and you'll get a ton of products like uh, they had one that I picked up recently that was the Street Fighter one and it was like $25 and you got basically every uh, game Capcom every fighting game Capcom came out within the last 30 years Um, they had a Metroidvania one that I picked up they had a Souls like one that I picked up so really good spot to check uh, if you're looking for new video games um, also check Steam sales uh, things go on sale on Steam all the time if you're not using Steam um, I'm not sure what rock you've been living under but so, uh, definitely check it out. Um, there's always sales on Steam. Um, so um, especially if they're if the game's like a couple of years old, you can usually find it on sale. If you're looking for another ARPG to play, Last Epoch is pretty fun. I've been playing it for a bit now and having a blast. Um, it is a little rough around the edges and it could use some quality of life upgrades, but other than that, the game's pretty fun. Um, if you want to get away from ARPGs, Baldur's Gate 3 is absolutely fantastic. Um, if you haven't played it yet, definitely, definitely go play it. Um, I've got a group game going with three of my other friends, and we've been having a ton of fun. Um, if you're more of like a solo gamer, um, Slay the Spire is a great game if you've never tried it. Uh, currently, Steam says I have just short of 800 hours on this game, but I know that that is false because my Steam account reset. So I definitely have well over 1500 hours into this game. It's it's really is that good. I love this game. Um, and, and right now, Slay is on sale for 66% off until March 11th. So um, it's like eight bucks. If you haven't played the game, definitely go pick it up. It's only a couple of dollars and well, well worth the, the investment. We all love to play games, but sometimes it's good to take a break. If I'm bored of PoE and I have no other games I want to play, I will go touch some grass. Um, this could literally mean go outside or it could be figuratively like go catch up on some reading or pick back up a hobby that's been neglected during the league or hang out with friends or family. Sometimes we forget that games are supposed to be fun and if you're not having fun or you're bored of PoE, don't force yourself to play. I did this with League of Legends and I had an absolutely horrible relationship with the game. Now I literally can't stand the game and I can't even play it for fun with friends. So 
don't let that happen to you because it's not a fun experience. And I really wish I hadn't burnt myself out so much on League of Legends and because I really did enjoy the game, but I played it to the point of I that I hated it. So yeah, let that be for what it is. This league was fun, but I'm ready for the next league. I got a lot of stuff done that I wanted to get done, and I'm relatively happy with what I accomplished this league. So what mechanics from this league do you think will go core? I very much doubt the Wildwood Ascendancies will go core because they are just too strong. Maybe they'll they'll have the actual Ascendancy part of it, but I don't think the Wisps are going to stay in the game. They're, they're just too broken. And if they do go core, they're going to have to be scaled back dramatically. Let me know in the comments section what mechanics, if any, you think are going to go core. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe as it does really help with the YouTube algorithm. I make bi-weekly content about various video games, video game news, and game reviews. Till next time, have a great day slash night.